Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vijay Thapa and in this channel I usually share programming tutorials in C Sharp, PHP, MS SQL, MySQL, HTML, CSS, etc. And this is a bonus episode for my tutorial series on how to create a billing and inventory management system in C Sharp. If you haven't checked the tutorial series yet, then I'll put the link in the description below. In this tutorial series, we have successfully created a billing and inventory management system in C Sharp which can manage users, manage products and categories, keeps track of the inventory of the products as well as keeps uh, track of the transaction like purchase and sales. So I would recommend you to watch this tutorial series. And in this episode I will show you how to create or generate a simple bill or invoice uh, for our billing and inventory management system. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all we'll need to open our application and the application is in my desktop which is anystore so I'll just open it and I'll open the solution file which is anystore.solution and our application will open in Visual Studio. So this is our app for now I will close all of these so just right click and close all documents. And the first step is to go to the Solution Explorer and add a class in order to print a bill in our application. So I'll just go to DAL and right click on it and click on add and then go to class and click on class. And here I'll give a name it will be DGV PRNTER since we are printing bill from data grid view. So DGV means data grid view and dot printer. So then click on add. So this is our DGV printer class and this will contain all the codes to uh, print bill from data grid view, uh, format, header, footer and table etc and a lot of other cool stops. And this uh, class contains uh, huge lines of code which is around 30,000 lines of code. So I will not write each line in this tutorial. Instead uh, I will uh, put the link in the description where you can uh, go and copy the code from the here. For now I'll go to the link and it will take you to this page which is my github account and it will uh, take you to a dgb printer uh, class file and here just open the dgb printer.cs file and from here you can copy all the codes and paste it in your dgb printer.cs class and it also says that it has 38083 lines 3883 lines of course so I'll just copy from the top to the bottom so let's copy and paste it in our dgprinter.cs class so I'll just copy all of this code it might take some time so guys finally I have come to the end of our code and selected all the code now we can just copy I'll press ctrl and c to copy and go to our dgprinter.cs class in our visual studio so i'll just delete all of this select all and delete and then you can paste uh, the code we have copied from uh, the link so i'll press ctrl and v to paste so this is our code which will uh, create a uh, bill from data grid view and format all the header footer and other cool stuff so i'll just press ctrl and as to save and we don't have any error yet so in order to confirm whether we have error or not I'll just press build and rebuild solution we will start it and we do not have have any error so we have successfully uh, copied and pasted the code in our digital printer class and this was the first step now the second step is to go to our purchase or sales form and add the functionality uh, to print the bill so I'll just go to the solution explorer and let's go to the UI folder and here we need to go to the purchase and sales form so FRM purchase and sales form open this form so I'll just double click on it and it will open our form and after the transaction is completed we need to print the bill so double click on save button to go to the button click event so I'll just double click on it and I want to print the bill after the transaction is completed successfully. 
so let's go to the section where transaction is completed successfully so here we have a message which is transaction completed successfully but uh, i want to print the bill before the message is shown so after scope that complete we will write the code to print the bill so i'll start with the comment so code to print bill and first step is to uh, create the object for our dgv printer class so dgv print dgv printer printer is equals to new dgv printer and don't worry about the error just hover over the error and click on show potential fixes and using dgv printer helper and it will solve our error and then we will start uh, to uh, make a bill for our billing system so we'll start with the title of our bill which is printer printer title is equals to and double quote here i'll write the name of the company uh, for that i will use the name of our app which is any e store private limited and you can use yours own but before the title i uh, need some space so i will write slash r slash n here slash n uh, creates a new line where slash r is carrier ret return so it will always move our cursor to our left so again slash r slash n it will create two space this is just to create a space before our title after that let's add a subtitle as well so printer dot subtitle is equals to in subtitle i will give the location of our application or of our store and a phone number so Kathmandu Nepal and phone number in another line so I'll just write slash r slash n and phone here you can give your own phone number for now I'll just give a dummy number so 045 xxx this is just a dummy number you can put your own number after that we will write a formatting for our subtitle so printer dot subtitle format flags is equals to string format flags dot line limit and then pipeline and then string format flags dot no clip after that we will add page numbers as well so printer dot page numbers is equals to true yes we need a page number but we don't need the page numbers in heading so printer dot page number in header is equals to false and then we will specify uh, equal equal spacing for our columns so printer dot proportional columns is equals to true and then we will specify header cell alignment so printer dot header cell alignment is equals to string alignment dot near that's it now we'll add a footer for our bill so printer dot footer is equals to in footer i'd like to show discount percentage VAT percentage uh, grand total and a message which will be thank you for doing business with us so for that we will write discount is equal to and then concatenate our string we will get the discount from text box which is txt discount dot text and similarly we will add VAT since now uh, discount is in percentage we will add percentage sign and we will go to the new line so slash r slash n for new line and then we will add vat vat and then concatenate txt vat dot 
text and then concatenate percentage sign and new line slash r slash n and finally grand total so here we will add grand total and then again concatenate and then we will need a new line we don't need percentage sign here since grand total is in decimal it's not in percentage so slash r slash n and then at the last we will add a thank you message so plus sign and then thank you message so here i will write thank you for doing business with us so that's it i think this will be okay for us and after this we will add a spacing for our footer which is printer dot footer spacing is equals to 15 it will be good and at last we'll uh, print uh, data grid view in our build so printer dot print data grid view is equals to no equals to and parenthesis and here we will add the name of our data grid view which is dgv added products so that's it so this is guys we have successfully added a code to uh, print bill uh, in our billing and inventory management system so let's check it out if it works or not so i'll just click on start to run our application and then let's log in with our user credentials which is user and password is also user and user type is user let's log in login successful and let's click on purchase and i will search for customer which is gg hadid and i'll add products two and quantity is three let's add and another product i'll add and quantity will be four add so software is 134 let's give discount 10 percent and let's give add 13 percent and paid amount is 150 so let's click on save so this will uh, give an option to select print option if you have connected any printer then you can uh, select the printer and print directly from our application but uh, now for now i haven't connected any printers i will just uh, save the file in desktop so that i can show how our build will look like so i'll just select microsoft X xpx document writer and click on print so i'll give it a name build print any store and let's click on save so i'm saving it in desktop and i'll click on save button and transaction completed successfully let's minimize this and this is our app let's close it let's close it let's close it and uh, let's minimize this i'll minimize this so this is our bill we created just now from our application so i'll just open it and i'll show you how our uh, bill will look like so i'll just double click on it so this is it guys we have successfully uh, created a bill which look like this we have product name rate quantity and total and at the end we have discount and vat and i forget to print grand total so i'll just print grand total as well and we have a message here i want to give more space after phone so i'll just uh, add uh, rn slash rn and that's it it will look good let's make some changes and print another bill again so i'll just go to our visual studio and i'll stop our application and after the telephone i want space so slash r slash n slash r slash n i made uh, two line spaces and here i have forgotten to add the grand total so after grand total i'll add plus and txt grand total dot text so that's it it will print grand total successfully and i think i need more space after grand total so slash r slash n it will create more space and let's save it and print it i think i will add space after our title as well so slash r slash n slash r slash n 
and before title as well slash l and slash n so that's it let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's start our application and let's log in with the user credentials which is user 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 type is user and let's log in login successful previously i added the pro uh, products using purchase tab i'll uh, use uh, sales tab now so i'll click on sales and here i will select customer gigi hadith and search for uh, products which is i'll give a product id which is fanta and i'll add quantity for add and another one is two which is yy and quantity will be three and add so subtotal 134 so i'll pay 150 no this is a discount percent so i'll just give 10 uh, percent discount and that will be 13 percent and paid amount will be 150 so this is return amount and let's click on save and instead of selecting a printer i will select again microsoft xps document writer select the microsoft xps document writer and click on print and give a name to our document so it will be another bill from any store if you have uh, any printer connected you can print directly from our application just select the printer and print but now i am using uh, this to save our file which is open express document and click on save that's it let's minimize transaction completed successfully okay and i'll just close this and close this and close this and here is our another bill which is another bill from any store so let's open our bill and let's see how it looks like now so we have space here i have created a space here and also a space here you can give uh, more spaces as you like and we have also a telephone number address and here is our product name rate quantity and total and at the end we have discount bad grand total and a message so this is guys we have successfully added a functionality to print bill uh, when we uh, purchase our sales product uh, from our any store billing and inventory management system so thank you so much for watching and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible and if you successfully uh, created this functionality then don't forget to comment uh, successfully created billing uh, functionality in the comment below so thank you so much guys and if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon bye bye